So hello, you get my life. Today I'm gonna keep playing <clears throat> during complete. Yeah, I decided I'm gonna shift my attention from AI temporarily to more front end stuff, and. I have uh, other ideas of things I'm gonna do because I need to make money so I will either try to find a job or uh, do some freelancing work I'll try to see if that's possible so I don't think I think the best path is not to study out artificial intelligence with that in mind because it's gonna be harder to create a project with artificial intelligence and front end stuff and more uh, the other stuff that I was studying in Python is gonna be a lot easier to build projects or something that is visible so I can show to other people and build a portfolio. So I think after I'm finished with this game, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna finish this game or not, but I'm gonna probably go back to doing this free code camp stuff because there are a bunch of things that I think I'm kind of uh, rusty, let's say. I'm not, not sure if that's the right word. But that I haven't seen in a long time, so I think I forgot a little ab a couple of things about JavaScript. And I think it would be good to go back through these courses and then do the whole front end again and the back end again. And then redo the projects, but in a way that I can put on a portfolio or something, or push them to GitHub. Because the last time I did it, I just did it to pass the things, and I wasn't uh, really concerned about actually doing them because I didn't know anything about programming. Now I feel like I have a much better overall understanding of how the everything works, and everything is related, and what is important to know and what is not that important. So it's gonna, probably going to be a lot better, I think, because now I have the go the end go in mind, and before I didn't actually know if anything that I was doing was useful or not. So it's harder to learn things that way. So that's probably what I will be doing. But today I think I'm going to play this game, continue playing this game, and I think I I will just look at the hint or. Uh, search online if I get stuck. I'm not gonna spend too much time because I want to finish this faster so I can start learning the pre code camp stuff. So, eventually, after I find a job or I'm able to do freelance work and start making money, then I can go back to study more Python and C and focusing on artificial intelligence, which is more long a long term goal. So this level, yeah, if I remember correctly, this counts as one, this counts as two, this counts as four in binary. And I need to find a way to correctly pass all the truth tables here. I'm just passing a lot of them already, but I remember I had some problems with the fourth input. If I'm not mistaken. It passes this one and then it fails on this one. So this one I needed a two, but I'm getting a one. Because there's only output coming from here. So that was the problem because now I might have to rethink everything. Because I need this input should be on and this input should be off, otherwise, I'm only gonna get one, and this is gonna change all the other challenges. So, that's the main problem here. Unless I find a way to make the fourth input. Uh, so this is the third input, 
and it's connected to the for to this one. To this XR gate here. That I connected to solve the previous challenges. So let me see. Yeah, if it both of them are on, it's off. So if I connect the fourth input here, somehow it might work. The issue is that I already have this one here. Oh no. I need to do control Z. Control Z. This one is connected to the second one. Maybe if I connect directly to the fourth one. It will work. And now it fails this one. So it's passing. Well, the output is true is saying that I'm getting one. Which is weird. Is this correct? And now I'm getting one. So that's weird there. Yeah, so now the issue is that this current is going through this one. And then it's feeding the other ones. And you can see that it's going through here and then it's going through here. There's a conflict there. And then it's passing to the end gates. So I can't do that. That's a big problem. Because if I can't do that, it probably means that I'm going to have to redo everything. So if I remember correctly, the level uh, log says that I might need to use 20 gates. That might be the issue here. That I'm not using enough. So how does the XR works again? Turns on when either one is on. And then it's off. The other scenario. So it's the same as they are, but without turning on, turning it on on both rounds. The named gate I'm not gonna be able to use it here. What if I do it like this? Then I'm not sure if it's gonna come back. Yeah, but then it turns it on the first one. That's the issue here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I'm hoping that there's a way to solve it. Yeah, it's gonna turn it on. Doesn't even make sense to try. So obviously I'm hoping that is a way to let me just do control Z. If I take this off, it's probably it's connected to the second one. And it's probably not gonna pass the other ones. Yeah, doesn't pass. So I'm probably going to have to redo everything again. The issue is that I think that the output needs to be off. And it's impossible to do it this way.
Unless maybe if I can change the XR gate here. But then it is not gonna work. Because this one needs to be turned on. She passed the other challenges. This one also fails. So all of the last tasks are failing. So I'm probably gonna have to redo everything again. I think I'm gonna start a new one instead. Just so I have this one saved in case. Never, I'm not sure if I ever gonna use this one, the only gate here. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So. I'm gonna try to pass the previous guy, the previous challenges, if only with a different gate than the XR gate. I can't use the R gate because it's gonna turn it on here on this one. Oh, it's on, obviously not. The, deck, the problem is the XR is the best one to pass the first test. And you can use the XNR, but then it's going to turn it on the first. Because both inputs are off. Yeah, I can't use anything, at least directly. It's going to turn it on in the first one. Maybe not even indirectly. Because yeah, it turns it on anyway. So I don't see much of an option there. And yeah, maybe the issue is not on the top one, it's in the bottom. The second end gate star. Yeah, I don't see much difference between using the 3R gate and the one. Maybe the 3 end gate has a difference. Makes a difference. The only way I can think about is using the XR gate. And so this is probably the issue here. So I'm turning it on, but... I'm getting better with using this stuff here. The wires.
Oh, so the out output is off here. Yeah, this one's gonna fail if I do it this way. Because I have to find a way to deactivate the XR gate based on the previous, uh, on the other gates. The only way I can think about doing that is with the. Uh, with another XR gate. Because I need to chain the, the current on the first one with the previous ones. We need to make the input of this be dependent on both of this, I guess. Then this one goes here. Now that's the, the question here. Or I can make it as the input on the second one. That's also an alternative that I wasn't thinking about. But then it's gonna be very hard to pass the... Yeah, it's impossible because I have to pass this task here with the first inputs. Yeah, unless I can make the diff different connection. So that's also a possibility, I think. So let me try connecting this one through here. This one through here. This is failing because it's not turning it on. So I'm going to change the color for this one. Just so I don't get confused. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm not thinking about as well. Is that the, the current uh, goes back when it doesn't pass through here. Goes back through the previous input. So here I need a two, and this is off. So I can use an an end gate here. The bottom. Connect both of this. Now it's one, I need it should be true. This is second and third. So I can connect this. Two here. Maybe not. <laughs> so 
So, this is Shigimit. Sure. So I think I have to use the XR gate on the, the top one because that's the only way that I'm gonna get uh, a one here and both these inputs are on because if, if I put the R gate yeah maybe I can use the R gate Because the input is on the R gate. Hmm. Yeah, but I think the other ones are eliminated. It's either the R gate or the XR gate. To pass the first challenges. I need to figure out the way to deactivate this and both of them are on. Maybe I can connect this, yeah, but then it's gonna give me the circular dependence thing. Take this off. Doesn't pass this one. So what if I put an R gate here? For the second one. I have a feeling that it's gonna fail on other tasks, but Yeah, now it's giving me three. Maybe I can attach this to here through an XR gate. No, it fails on this one. So here, Nichu is giving me a zero. It's one and three, so I can use the end gate here. And I use it outside just so it's not uh, clamped on there. Now I need another end gate for the middle ones. At least that's what I think I need. So this one is connected to the second one. The second one. I'll move it up here so it's easier to visualize. And then I can use an end gate. I don't remember which one was failing. Not this one.
is confusing. Go like this. And I need the shoe to be on. I the problem is if this whole logic that I'm using is wrong, then it probably means I think the only other alternative is that the these inputs need to be connected to the two, the first inputs and the ones in the bottom need to be connected to the one. I'm getting close, I think. Or maybe it's just like the other one. Where I might have to redo everything again. Again. So this one I need it to be turned on. Yeah, inputs one and four. So maybe I can use another AND gate here. Just use AND gates to solve everything. It starts to get really messy when you have a bunch of them. My only concern is with the current from the other ones because I'm not sure if that's gonna affect the output of this one. But I think the key here is to use the end gates to turn the second one on. Now it's failing on this one, so it's probably another end gate. One and four. And that's why you use a bunch of them. I think the level says that it's not that complicated as well. So I think this is the correct way to go about it. So now I need to connect one and three. One and two. No, one and four. No, two and four. Two and four. And it needs to turn the second one on. Let me see how many I'm using here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still have other one that's says it's necessary. Okay, so now getting closer at least. But this one might be the one that fucks everything up. Whereas I'm getting on one and the zero output is a two. Yeah, I think it's the same situation from the previous one that I did. The previous uh, schematic. This is, it always breaks down when I have to turn the other one off. Maybe I can use an XR gate. Let me see. I need to see what is turning this on. Uh, there's no current here. So I'm gonna use an XR gate and see. It connects both of these. Oh, it only needs to connect one of them. If it connects both, it's not gonna have any output. It's gonna, gonna turn it on. But then, yeah, the issue is that it might affect the other results. I'm gonna try anyway. Do a different color. So I think I need to turn this on the fourth font, but and then let me see. When you're concerned that this is going to affect the other levels. Yeah, 
yeah that's the issue because now so maybe i can connect this through the third input instead yeah because when the third input is on it needs to have a different counting so i think th this might solve but then it might uh screw up the other challenges yeah so maybe i can use an r gate but then it might turn it on when i don't want it sure yeah because when the third input is on i'm gonna have sure Yeah, that's the problem. The third input is only have to activate the second one and the third one only. Oh no. Uh, yeah, actually, when all of them are on, then it's both they need to be activated. With only two of them on, only the second one needs to be activated. So maybe this is the correct logic, but I just need more wires here somehow. need to use something that activates only with one of them on but then deactivates when the second one is on to connect through the third input directly to the first one I think the XR gate was passing that already I can use the same schematic that I did here. If this chain XRs, ga XR gates, to achieve this. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I still can use nine, about nine. So maybe that's the correct way. So I need I need it should be turned on when the third input is on. Just goes here. And then the second one is gonna depend. I'm gonna have two more XR gates. Here. Damn this this is the third one and there. This is super confusing. So this one needs to be turned on by the one and three. Uh, let me use, I'm gonna use the same color. And then I also need another one for the true entry. Definitely feel like my understanding of the gates has improved a lot since I began the game. It's a lot more intuitive now for me to think about what each gate does. I'm still having trouble with actually uh, knowing the exact output that each one has but the logic is getting more clear in my mind so i can't do that one let me see how many is passing though 
It's failing on this one. So maybe that this one is the problem. So use an XR gate here as always. Two and one. See if this works. It's still getting three. Oh, well, because it's passing through here as well. But this one is failing because it's not passing anything. So maybe if I remove this one, it solves the one in the top. And now it works there. Now I'm still getting three. So this probably means that the activation here is off, which means this has to be connected to the tree, the third one. But I think I, this is what I was trying before. I remember, maybe not. So now it's off. But it needs to be on with the third input. Hmm. We can take this off here. See if I change. No, that one is necessary. So I can use this one with the second and the third, maybe. And try this. Yeah, doesn't solve this one. So if I connect an R gate directly there, it's going to screw up the other ones. And this should be turning it on. So let me redo the thing that I did with the R gate. And I'm going to try to erase this from here. On its own. Now it fails here. So that's the issue. I need to make it so the third, when the third input is on, it turns it on, but when both of them are on, it turns it off. And this one is also turning it on with the first and the third. This is not going to change anything if I only change this gate here. It changes this one, but not the other one. Yeah, still gonna fail this. Let 
So maybe this whole mass I did up here is probably uh, useless. But now it works. It fails here. If I put another gate here, it's probably not gonna work. But I'm gonna try just see what happens. Yeah, the issue that is that they are maybe I can connect an XR to the R gate. Both of them are on are off. No, yeah, it doesn't work. It has to be an XR gate. I don't see any other alternative. Because the XR gate is the only gate that is going to turn it off when both of them are on. And I think the NAND gate as well. But the NAND gate starts off with the output on. So, which is a problem for the other challenges. And they fails here. But if I don't have this here, let's see. Yeah, if I don't have it, then the current is not passing through here. But if I have it, the current starts passing here as well. And I'm not really sure why. I have this one that is going through here, but it's coming back. And it's kind of conflicting with this one. Yeah, so the R gate is turning this off. You should be, and then they have another one coming here. So, is this one necessary? Let me see. Yeah, so, that one's not doing anything. Well, now it passes a bunch of them. Huh. So the problem was this one. Now the output needs to be on. This should be true for the three and the four. So I can use an end gate as well. To take this off. Hopefully, I'm getting closer to the answer. I think this is probably the hardest. I think the XR was a little bit harder than this. At least so far. The XR is more difficult. Maybe I'm getting better as well. Might be true. Might be possible, true. So this now is failing. That's interesting. So if I do this, so why is passing before? Oh, I am getting a one here. And I should get a two. So it's not just connecting the end gate. I have to stop this one from activating as well. So I can use the XR gate again, but... Yeah, hopefully this is gonna work.
when I get a zero there, when it's connected to the fourth and the second, the third one. Yeah, now it's failing here. Yeah, I think this one is the issue. The third input is the hardest one. Because it's the one that changes the most. Yeah. Both in the truth value and in the, the count there. So this one the third one is on So what is the difference here? Well, if I connect it's gonna turn it off. But if I don't connect then uh but it fails these ones. It fails this. And I can do one plus one, doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe if I connect the previous XR. with this XR. You need it should be turned on when this is on, but not when the, the third one, the fourth one is on. So I could maybe connect this one through here instead. And then connect this one to the far one. Yeah, so good so far. So now I have to connect this to the far one maybe. Yeah, let's try, see what happens. Okay, now it fails this one. Let me see if I'm, so when the fourth one is on, it needs to give me a one. Let me see if I'm doing the other ones correctly. Fourth one, and this also fails. But I want to see, yeah, it doesn't work. This fails as well. No, but it fails, but it's giving me a zero. So I can just put an end gate there. So I think it, this one's going to pass if I do it this way. And the other one is not passing as well. And three of them are on in this configuration here. No, it is passing. This way. So let me see which ones I'm having trouble. Oh. So now it should be on. And the fourth input is on. And see how many I'm using. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Still far away from using all possible ones.
So obviously I need to connect something to the power phone that is gonna turn it on, but yeah. The issue is that I'm lacking space here. The way that I did this whole thing. Because I think this logic is gonna follow the same logic as the third one. So I might have to redo everything again. But for the fourth inputs instead of the third. Because it has to be turned on only when the fourth is on. Or maybe not, maybe I can just use a, an R gate here. I'm gonna try and see what happens. Then I'll think about it later. So it should be one here. Yeah, now, just like I imagined, it's gonna give me three in an issue. Get two. And this one is passing as well. And it shouldn't be. Because this one is activating. So maybe I can use an XR on the this one instead of an R. Connect to the first one and then connect to the first here. And then I need to change this one as well if this works. So now it's giving me three because of the first input. So I can connect this to the Noxar gate again. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the way to solve this. If this works at all. But I, th I think that's the right path. Is the, is the only logic that seems to make sense. Yeah, but now it's passing here with one and three. So if I make this input dependent on one and three, it's probably gonna work. See. This is, this doesn't work. It's gonna be a mess. Okay. So now is the problem uh, from before, I guess. Uh, why is this passing current when it shouldn't be? So I'm getting three and as you get two. It's passing both through here and through here. I don't understand this. This in my mind should be turned off right now. Maybe it's because of this one in the bottom. So this is only when the fourth one is on. It's passing one here, activating this. It's not activating this because of this one. But it is activating through here. This XR here. Oh, maybe I needed to connect this one. With the other inputs instead. So 
now I'm getting three. So I think the issue is that this one is not connected here. Yeah, but it's still gonna pass a current star because it's coming from this one. It's coming from the fourth and coming here. Let me, let me take this off and see what happens. Now it feels this. Because of the one on the top here. No, why is why was it passing before? So now there is no current here. Which is weird for me. Sarcho understands. Maybe I should, should have done a different color here. But I think there are so many of them anyway that it doesn't matter that much. So this passes, but the other one doesn't. No, it's because of this. Yeah, but this one is turning it on as well. Which I don't understand. Yeah, now it passes through here. And before this wasn't happening. Which is a weird thing. Because it doesn't pass through here, it doesn't pass through here. So why is this one activating? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's because of this one. It's going through here and then activating this one. So the problem is here. This one is connected to the third. Yeah. No, to the second one. And it activates this. So maybe yeah, but then I had it connected to the first one, and then I did this whole thing to connect it here, so it turns it off. Yeah, now I get it. And I did this one, so it turns it on here. Because it passes through this XR gate. This chain of XR gates. So it's this one that's, that I'm having a problem. So what if I connect this both to an XR gate? Let me try it. And see what happens. It's fairly simple from a visual standpoint. Um, Now it's failing this one already. Because I have both input coming from both sides. It's probably gonna fail the other one as well. Yeah, it passes this. Fails everything else. It's probably not the correct 
way to go about it. Yeah, even this one is failing. Yeah, it's uh, Occam's Brazier out there. Simple solution is usually the best one. The issue is that I need to turn both of them off. When this is on. And if I do it like that, it's not going to work. Because it's going to mess up the other challenges. Connect so one and three is turning on. So let me think about it. What can I do? What can you do? So it's the one and four. It's activating through here. And this one's going through here and then here and it's activating this one. So maybe if I make another connection here. With the far to activate this, maybe that works. I think I'm gonna put it. Uh, this the other XR here on top, so it's better to visualize. So I was thinking about doing another XR there. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I need to stop both of them. So this is going through here, it's going through here. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So farting has six more trees. So it's the one and four. Yeah, so connecting this one directly to the fourth input or to the first one. Because this is coming from the far. But then I feel that the, the other exercises are going to fail because that's the point of doing this XR here. Because this is connected to the one. And to the third. 
So it doesn't mess up the other. So maybe the answer is on the XOR gate here. It should be an XOR instead. Be connected to the one, the first one, and it's gonna turn it on, turn it off here. That's better. But I'm not sure if it's gonna screw up the other exercises. But we'll see. So now it's giving me three. Yeah, because now it's not passing. And it's activating this one. And if I do the R gate here. Then it screws up this one. So the XR works for this one, but it fails for the other one. And this challenge is just this one that is giving me a problem. The other one isn't, doesn't matter. For this challenge specifically. I don't want to mess up with this because then I might have to redo everything again because I don't remember the whole logic I went through to test the other tests maybe I should go back to the simpler version that I did there and see how many was passing and try to rethink from that point There might be a better way to solve it, solve it. Yeah, so the issue was the fourth input. I'll go from here. So this passes is almost all of them. The only problem is the the fourth one. And I think I tried to connect directly the fourth and the third to the XR gate and that didn't work. Well, because I need to turn this off now. That's the, the issue. So maybe I should be using an XR gate here instead of the R gate. I think it doesn't change much uh, for the first ones because it's going to be activated. So it's probably just better because I can use these other inputs here to try to solve the other ones.
Yeah, so here I need to connect this to the fourth one, I think. Maybe I should be using a different color. Maybe I should just do it like this so it's more clear. Doing. Let's see the clear path. It's just annoying because you can control this thing. The way that it moves. moves. So it is passing through here. Come on out. We do this one because it's not really clear there. And that's better. So it fails on this one. So let me connect directly through this and see what happens. Here. That's probably better to connect on top here. But now is the issue again. Because now I need to stop this one and this one from activating. This one I can just use the Noxor gate here. The next one and four. And it's going to stop. But this one is the, the issue. Maybe if I connect this again to the fourth input as well. To the first, I mean. Let's see. Yeah, but then it screws up the other challenges. That's the problem. Yeah, so I don't want to mess with this. Maybe I should create another XOR. To deactivate the second input here. Yeah, one XOR for this. Yeah, I think that's what I did there before. I'm not using this one as well. Neither this one. But they're just connected to this. So I'm not sure if it matters. Yeah, maybe I can use only one here of this. These inputs. This might be redundant what I'm doing here. I have one connected to the fourth and one connected to the second one, I believe. What if I connect this to that? So, yeah, that was necessary for some reason. It's confusing because it's one on top of the other, so I can't really tell uh, where are each of them coming from exactly. So this is going here, which is going here, I think.
Yeah, let me go back. So I think I was here. Yeah, so I stopped here. Just gonna try to think if there is a way to use both of this instead of using only one of the inputs of this first gates here. Uh, these are gonna connect here, it's gonna pass. I'm just gonna do this so it passes more tasks and I can think about which one is failing. Now, now if it is this one, which is the first. And the second, yeah, because it's giving an input here. So I can't really do this. We'll go to the bathroom, get some water. We're right back.
yeah, this is probably the best, the hardest one I did so far. Not that I did that I'm doing. I might have to look at the hints at some point. But I feel like I'm getting, I'm making progress at least. The issue is that I'm spending too much time on this one. I'm not sure how, my, how many levels this has. This game has. I still haven't used the last input. I think it's gonna be used only for the last challenge. Yeah, it has to be only the last challenge. But I have a sense that it's not gonna be the one that is the most difficult. I think the problem comes now. If you can pass this one, probably pass the other ones. So both of these are failing, this is passing, this is failing. Pass, pass, fail, and fail. Yeah, the fourth one might be hard, actually. Because I might have to, I'm probably gonna have to figure out a way to disconnect the first two. But only on when all of them are on. And it's gonna be a pain as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one's the one that I'm feeling now. Oh, so that was irrelevant. Yeah, I had the sense there was something wrong there. Not sure why I did that. See if it passes the previous with this configuration. It fails. Yeah, so and try this. Maybe I can use the other gates, but I don't think, yeah, it's probably not gonna work. I think it has to be with the XR gates. So the problem is that this is receiving inputs from the first one, which is activating this. So 
Let me take this off the party. So now it deactivates because it's connected. So yeah, so let me take this off. But then we need to turn it off when it's connected to the first. Yeah, so the only way it works is if I have the connection for both the second one and the, the first one to activate this one. So the third one, yeah, this needs to be connected uh, somehow. Maybe I connect directly to the third one. I feel like that for some reason might give me problems. Yeah. So you can't really do that because it's gonna it's connected to the fourth directly. So I need to make it so one and three. Oh this one is not connected as well. Yeah, but the issue is well, maybe I can connect this one to the third one. You would be on here. It doesn't matter. So let me change colors. I use the white here again. Yeah, all of this for nothing. Yeah, I need to take some time to think. Before trying other stuff. Yeah, I think the whole thing I did here is probably trash. Maybe I should try everything from scratch again. And build the first part, the bottom, the top part first. Or and try to solve from uh, try to solve backwards because I think the the logic of the end gates is the easiest one to get it right. The XR seems to be the the most difficult. So 
maybe if I start backwards, it's gonna be easier. This one is also not connected. But I'm not sure if it's gonna make that much difference. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So now I just need to activate this one. So this one was a problem. So I can use an end gate here. What? What damn it? Not this one. This one. This one. Connect here. Here. Okay. Nice. Okay. So now only the last one. But now the problem is uh might be possible that I have to I changed everything again because I need to deactivate this second one and activate the, the fourth one. So obviously, what I'm thinking is using the third, the three end gate to activate the, the third one because the chances of that giving me screwing up the other inputs are lower. Because it's hard to activate the, end, the tree end gate. But the question is how I'm going to deactivate all of these gates here. Based on the... On all of the inputs. So let me see. First let me connect the end gate. to three of the inputs and see which ones are gonna give me trouble and which ones I can use it still passes all the other tasks yeah so this one fails this one so it has to be the three first ones Because it's gonna be be off here when it's on. No, so now it fails here. Maybe I have to use a simple end gate as well. It's just a, a matter of finding the right connection. this can only be active so I have to connect it to the one and the fourth one yeah let's do that the first and the fourth so it disconnects on these situations and then I can think about uh, where I'm gonna connect the other one Yeah, so a simple end gate would work there. The issue, yeah, but I can connect this to either one, I guess. Maybe, let's see. Hopefully. Damn. So it has to be... Yeah, 
can't be turned on, so I'm probably so that should be the second one. Missed that. Doesn't work. I'm gonna cry. Damn. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna need to use something more complex. Just just saw the, the last one. Now it's activating when it shouldn't be. So only the fourth and the let me see. Oh, I can you use an uh, end gate here instead. Just a normal end gate. Yeah, but then it doesn't activate. That's the issue. So I can't use one end gate here. Or I can connect another end gate here to, act to activate this input. That's probably. I'm gonna activate that one. So I can connect this to the one, first one, the fourth one, and then. This is the second here, here, here. Then it's just an issue if it passes. Hopefully, yeah. There we go. So now it's just an issue of turning the this one off when all of them are on. Which is gonna be a problem. Very big problem. Because the issue is if I connect them to a tree end gate, then obviously it's gonna fail all the other tasks. So I need to find a way to turn them off without screwing up the other ones. So maybe a simple XR gate is gonna work. Because that way I can still keep keep them all. Yeah. So I need two XR gates, I guess. Yeah, that's probably how I'm gonna solve this. So I can connect this to to an XR here. I'm doing the same color. Hopefully this works. And then I can connect this to, to an XR gate. Because it's going to activate when only one of them is on, but when both of them are on, it's going to turn it off. <clears throat> so now I have no input, but... So let's see. Where is the input supposed to come from? Let me see if I'm passing the other ones. So I'm failing this one as well. So a couple of them are not passing. Yeah, because I was solving the previous ones, but it's only because they are connected to the same input. They still have uh, current going through them, through both of them. And if I use something else, then it might screw up all the other challenges. But at least this is passing the 
plasma. So I think what I'm going to do is try one at a time and see what happens. I'll try this one first. So it fails this. So let me do the other way. So I'm going to try here first. So this passes all of them except this one. What if I use another end gate here? Oh, there's an issue with this one as well. But maybe... Yeah, because when they're all turned on, it's gonna turn on. What if I do this? Let's see. Then it doesn't activate. So maybe the whole way I, do th I did this is uh, wrong. Because, yeah, it's not going to work. I have to connect them to an XR gate. All of them. Because in the last one, it's going to be all of them turned on. So, I think this is the only way to solve. Okay, so now it's filling this. I'm close though, at least. So why is it filling this one? It's probably because of these two last inputs here that I didn't solve. I think I'm going to connect them one at a time and see what happens. Yeah, so this one is needed as well. And I'm probably going to have to connect them both to an XR gate. And hope that it passes. Let's go. There we go. Damn, this was our. God damn. Nice. Let's go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, nice. Pretty happy about that. It was really hard. And I didn't look at the hints. And let's see how, how much more complex it gets. It seems like there's a lot of levels.
I took a screenshot. It's just like, I can't see all the levels. That's annoying. Oh, you just keep Archer, man. Also, maybe I can go. Yeah, I can. Okay. No, so I'm not even the hard part yet. So I'm see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so this one is a working computer. How many for that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty eight levels. On top of that, there is still a bunch. The only issue is that I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do all of them. That's the problem. Yeah, but this uh here starts get, getting interesting after this point which i'm getting closer because that's my main curiosity is understanding how the computer uh, thinks and when it gets to the programming part how these wires are going to become programming rules level we learn how we don't allow circular dependencies now we must learn the one exception yeah, the other thing that I don't know is that is so much uh, more difficult the other challenges are going to be from the previous one. Because if it scales in complexity, then all the other ones are probably going to take me hours to solve. I think this last one probably took me two hours or maybe even more, counting the time before today. So if that's the case, it might take me a lot of days or even weeks to finish all of them. And I just don't have time. So if it takes too much time to solve, I'm gonna, I'm just going to stop, I think, after today. But if I go relatively faster, I might uh, keep going for another three or four days before I start doing the free code camp, free code camp challenges again. Because I need to make uh, practical things that I can show to people. The delay buffer is allowed to depend on its own input. This is because its input does not influence the rest of the circuit until the next tick. Square pins in the game never affect the output in the same tick. They therefore never cause circular dependencies. Output on, on, on the even ticks and off on the odd ticks. This level has no input. So obviously I need to use these things that it talks about. Outputs the stick uh, outputs these sticks, inputs next stick. Not really sure what it does. Let's see. This is probably easier than the previous challenges. We need to do something like this. That doesn't change anything. Let me read the level log again. In the previous level, we learned how we don't allow circular dependence. Now we must learn the one exception. The delay buffer is allowed to depend on its own input. So this allows circular dependence. Dependency. This is because its input does not influence the rest of the circuit until the next tick. 
So this is because its input does not influence the rest of the circuit to the next stick. So I'm not sure what they mean by next stick. But okay. Square pins in the game never affect the output in the same tick. Also, the squares don't affect the outcome in the same tick. It therefore never cause circular dependencies. Output one, okay. So I'm really enjoying this game so far. I think it has helped me a lot. Even though it's difficult to learn how the logic gates work. So this, I'm just trying to understand if I really get what that this thing does. I guess this is what it means by that. So I can pass through here. I'm trying to remember how I, how I did circular dependencies. I think like this is better. Yeah, but then it doesn't matter because it's passing through here anyway. Also, it's kind of like a gate, I, I guess. And I think I need to use this. I obviously need to use the own gate because there's no input. And I probably need to use this to solve this. But the thing is, I can use multiple own gates as well. Oh yeah, but, well, let's see. So this is gonna act as if the inputs are always on. Yes, the input is always on. So that's probably the reason for this. I need to make something that makes the output the input uh, off. I don't need this one. Let's see. So I connect this to another one here. So I'm getting the correct response, but in reverse order. So I need to uh, change this gate here. Which is something that so desired output runs input. So the first one is off. So I can use this gate here. Let's see. No, it doesn't work. So 
So when both of them are on, that should be. Uh, that should be on. And I can just make a end gate and connect here as well. Or I can use this. Oops. Yeah, this is excellent. Similarly true, the NAND gate. So maybe the simplest way is just to connect like this. I can use another one, I guess. I'm not sure if this level is meant to be hard or not. So I don't know what to expect. Because at least at first glance, it seems that it's a lot easier than the previous one. It should be a lot easier. Oh, so when I do this, it's gonna change the output. No, I get. I think I get it. If I do this, it don't work for some reason. So why is the output on here? And if I don't turn this on, it's on. Maybe if I, yeah, if I connect directly, I uh, don't think it was working. So let's see. So maybe if I connect both of them, well, sim now. Having a little bit of trouble understanding what this works, uh, how this works. So the on the input is desire output on. It doesn't turn. Uh, Oh yeah, it's not dependent on the input. I'm confusing uh, one of them with the input. So that should be on only when it's odd or even numbers. Don't remember which one is which in English. Yeah, output on, on when it's even and off when it's odd. So the input doesn't matter. So 
So which one is a tick? Huh. And this doesn't activate on each tick. It's gonna activate. So it's gonna start it off. Uh, off. No start song. If I do this, it's probably not gonna work. That was the first one. That's the first one. It's failing this one. Oh, so it, it maintains the the way that it was on the previous move. So it's only gonna alter the input state uh, true by true. So the first true are our own. The first shoe is going to be on and the other one is going to be off, but it says on here, no current output off. No, but that's the output, not the input. Oh, so it is always on there. So maybe if I use another gate here. This should alternate uh, with the exception of the first one. As far as I understand. Maybe if I use. Yeah, the not gate's not gonna work. Because this is always gonna be on. So maybe circular dependency. I need to use something that has circular dependency somehow. So the XR doesn't work. The NAR doesn't work. You should have the reverse output except for the first one. Yeah, try alternate between outputs. Starting on the own state. Where the input's gonna be off. So the first one, the input's always off. And the other ones is always on. Then from there, an issue alternate. Yeah, I can use more than one as well. Yeah, more than one uh, input. So this turns it on, no? No. No, it's first it's off. Then everything else is, is on. Yeah, this is not gonna work because it's gonna turn it on and
Now, how am I gonna do this? This is tricky, actually. Because there isn't any gates that I can use. So that's probably where our circular dependency comes on, uh, comes on. And you should use both of them to create the this alternation. Between outputs. I think I can use the XR. So XR is going to pass on the first. Oh, it doesn't pass on the first. Doesn't this? Oh no. Yeah, and then it's going to pass on the first. The first and the second. But then it needs to alternate here. Which is not what it is. So I need something that when one input is on, it turns it on, and when the other input is off, it turns it off. Which is the NAR gate. Let's see if the NAR gate passes this, passes this. And now is where the circular dependency comes, I think. Because I need to figure out a way to uh, make them out of sync. How can I do that? Oh, I can use the input as of this one as here. But then it might screw up the other ones. So now it turns it off. Hmm. Yeah. But I think it's working. If I do this uh, here, it's done. I need both of this, this, this schematic here that I did. So I already forgot what I did there. I think it was like this. And then I did this. So let me see. And now it should be turned on. Yeah, now I should get the own output. So I can do it here. Use the NAR here. And then I need another one. Connect like this. This still doesn't work. So why exactly? Isn't it supposed to be... Oh, because it's treating this one as the input. If I do it like this, it's probably not gonna work. Hmm. 
So when is this off again? This is always off except for when both of them are on. Yeah, so this might be harder than I thought it would be. Kind of tired from the previous challenge. So the desire output is on. Maybe if I connect uh, end gate here. Thing is, I'm not really sure if I'm doing, I'm using this delay buffer the right way. Delays the delays the output. I guess. By one tick. Yeah, but then it's not going to have any current here. So why is this on? I don't get it. It's because both of them are off. But it's gonna continue being off because it's connected through here, so it doesn't make sense. I'm doing it that way because I think I might need to use circular dependency because it's the uh, point of the challenge. And now it's always on, which I don't understand. It's gonna delay the output, but it needs to have a current in order to do that. Or is it not gonna delay the output, it's just gonna allow circular dependency. Somehow, but I think the log says delays by one tick. input does not influence the rest of the circuit until the next thing yeah yeah 
Yeah, so that's what what I was thinking. Should use one of them to put this out of sync here. So one of them, when one of them is turned on, the other is turned off. Yeah, I can use the not gate. Let's see. I, for, I had forgotten, forgotten. I'm not sure if that's the way to say it. Uh, but I, I remembered in the back of my mind that there was one that did this to alternate between them. But I forgot it was the not gate. So now I just need to figure out how to create circular dependency here. To delay the, the output of one of them. Maybe I can start it off with the XR. And then use the knot. Think soon I might take a break to either eat something or meditate. Yeah, but the, I don't need the XR gate if this passes. This is always on because, yeah, that's the issue. Because I need to make one that depends on the output there. If I do it like this, I'm not sure if this is going to work. So it works for the other one, but then it fails here. So why is this off? Yeah, because the not versus the, the output. So because the both of them are on, activating this. So why is this on now? And because it's going through here. So the not gate's not passing, but this one is passing. That's why. So it doesn't matter much. Still have the same problem that I had before. So I think the question here is how can I make it so I have to turn out turn off the input somehow? Otherwise, this is not going to work because there's no gate that does this. And I need to use this somehow. If I do it like this and stuff. Yeah, but it's still going to fail. Because it's not changing state, that's the problem. Mm. 
And if I put an odd gate, then it's not gonna turn it on again, I think. I put another not gate to activate this one. It's the other way around. So make this out of here. Something like this. So the I don't even need the, the own input as well, just realize that. Hmm. But now it's turning. Well, I can do like this and then activate. That's probably how it works. Then it fails here. It fails a knot like this. Doesn't work. So maybe it's the other way around. That this comes first and this comes second. Then I use the output to activate this, the not gate to activate this. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, but I can tell that I'm getting tired already. I could probably keep going for a lot more, but... It's just that I need to take rest in between. And I like to do the Pomodoro technique. So maybe I think I would do that. I will meditate now for 10 minutes. And I don't think I'm gonna bother resetting this, th this stream. Or maybe I finish, I, I'm gonna try to finish this level. I'm gonna see how difficult the, these ones are. Yeah, I'm gonna try to finish the other two ones. Then I take a break to meditate and then keep going. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick.
so I have to do something. So in one hour, I'm going to take a break. Then I come back later. Let's see if I can do them both in one hour. The previous level, we added, we added together two inputs. This time, we added three. Once again, add the inputs together in binary, such that the result is either 0 or 1. As with normal addition, if the result cannot be described with one digit, set the courage 1. If the result cannot be described with one digit, also. We need to pass on the car right there. Oh, so now I don't have the delay thing. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess it's two different types of challenges. That's why they are in different lanes. So maybe I should do each lane at a time instead of doing line by line like I was doing. But maybe this is better to learn because it goes back and forth between unrelated things. So I have to force myself to remember. So this is going to activate. Uh, it's probably not the best. In the beginning. Yeah, it's going to be the XR, probably. Like I always use. So if the sum, so I can use end gate here. And if the sum passes, I need to also activate the carry there. Or we'll carry sum zero. Not really sure why, but. No, the desired is one, yeah, so. Yeah, it makes sense because it's going to be true there. So I need to pass it on. <laughs> but now it screws up everything else. Yeah, because I'm summing the car here. So I need to put another gate here that does this. So the the signal gets blocked by the end gate. It doesn't work anyway. And because this is going through here and then it was going through here. So maybe I scratch that. Uh put the R gate the first one. See. Yeah, so it works for this, but then it fails here because of the care. So I can use the end gate here. Maybe. Not sure. So what's the problem now? Oh, so the desired sum is zero. We should be off there. Yeah, so if I put the XR, I'm not really sure. Yeah, okay, so this works. Now the first two are off, then this is on. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing that I have to do for the bottom. So let's see. So the third one is always going to be on from now. And then this is going to alternate. I think so. Yeah, so for the logic on top, the XR is going to be. Yeah, because when 
Both of them are all. Yeah, so the XR solves this on uh, the top logic here. So I can connect them. Connect another XR here. Oh, actually, I already have that, so it doesn't matter. I need to connect this one through this. So, yeah, maybe the XR is better. I think, like in most situations, the XR is always going to be better than the R gate for these circuits. Because it's almost never the case that you want the output on and both of them are on. Like, it feels like the XR is a lot more powerful than the R gate. Yeah, so probably this is gonna what I'm gonna have to do. Just connect the XR gate instead. With the first, the third one and the first. Now it's failing this. Because it's activating through here. So maybe it's the end gate? No, but the end gate's not gonna turn it on. So I can do what I do and what I did in the previous challenges, where I have multiple XR gates to get this logic. Also, I have to think about the desired carry, which has to be zero. So let me think. Dark card is one here, which is correct. And this one is supposed to be zero. I think I'm gonna connect the front here because I'll probably need to make more connections so I have more space there. Let's see. So this one is going to fail here, so I need an output here. So obviously I need to do this. And then it should be deactivated, but then it's going to screw up the other ones. No, and th this one is always a, uh, is also a problem. So maybe I only need to change these two together. If I put it like this instead. Okay, passes more, I guess. Now it needs to be activated. And it's off. And desire sum is uh, zero, so it's correct. The desire carry is one, so I can use uh, end gate there. So it's the first and the third one. For the carry. Now same thing, but... So the sum is zero. But I use the end to turn it on there. So far, really similar to the previous one, the most difficult one. The way the logic is structured. There we go. Okay. So this one was a lot easier. Than the previous ones so now let's try this one the input and output of this level are using bytes instead of, of bits 
One of the two new components you are given takes a byte and splits it into bits, and the other does the opposite. The input and output of this level are using bytes instead of bits. Okay. One of the two new components you are given takes a byte and splits it into bits, and the other does the opposite. So it takes a byte, splits up. So one byte is eight bits. So it's gonna take one byte and split into eight bits. And the other is gonna take eight bits and connect to one byte. Using those components, figure out how to double the input number up to 127. Yeah, but now, yeah. The only issue I have with this is that they don't give the explanation of how these are built. Because it feels like you're missing steps. But maybe that's uh, the way that they are built or the same way that I did the previous uh, challenges. And that's why they don't show here. So I need to double the number. So maybe if I do it like this, connect here. So I think this is going to be the logic here. Let's see if I run it like this. Uh, let me use another color as well. Because uh, the color of the text is white. So. so what if I connect all of them? So what it did, what it does. Very tweet, very true. I guess I don't really understand the logic of this. Oh, it's taking the bits and transforming them. I think I got it now. Because this is 32 plus 1. Oh, this might be difficult. So let's solve this one. And it needs to be 66. So if I connect this to here. This to here. Oops, this show here. So 34 and it should be 68. So I guess it's just gonna be like this, probably. That's my intuition. Let's go. Okay, so it's a really easy level. It's weird because some levels are extremely difficult and then the other ones are relatively easy in comparison. So it's hard, kind of hard to predict if the next ones are going to be a lot more complex or just the same way or uh, even simpler. But I think I'm going to stop here, I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Let's do 45 minutes. Maybe I can try to solve another one. Yeah, let's see how difficult it's going to be. If it's relatively easy, I'm going to solve it. If it's difficult, then I'm stopping here.
to come back later. Delay buffer remembers a value for one tick. You need to make a component that remembers a value until we decide to change it. In this level, you have two inputs. The first input determines if we update the value remembered to save. The second input is the value to save. Ignore it when not saving. Always output what is correctly saved, where is currently saved. So we have two inputs. The first determines if we update the value remembered. In the second, this is the value to save. So I'm not sure if I get this. I'm just gonna <clears throat> do something and see how it works. No, so I just need to achieve this truth table here, I guess. So save value. So the first input stands for save, the second input stands for value. So this needs to be off. It's gonna act as an end gate for the first view, but then I need to alternate the thing. It feels like it should be relatively easier than the previous ones. So my intuition is that I'm gonna have to use this delay buffer because they mentioned it. So So the desire outputs it off. So it needs to start off, off. No, is the issue. But this works fine. But this needs to reverse. If I use a not gate, it's not gonna work. Because then it's gonna screw up the other challenges. So the delay buffer, maybe, because I remember it starts off in the same tick, but then it alternates. And so maybe I need to make it dependent on the output instead. But if I do this, it's not going to work for the first view. Let's see. If Connect it here. Hmm. 
So what if I do it like this? Still failing on this one. So both the, the NAR gate's not going to work for the first few. I think the XR works. Yeah, but the XR fails on the first one. So I should start with the end gate, I think. Yeah, it's the only one that is possible. So it has to use the end gate and then has to reverse the output, I guess. I'm trying to remember how I did the. Uh, Previous challenge. So let me put here. I'm gonna do it this on top. Uh, I think there's a way to. Uh, isn't there a way to copy here? Whatever. I think I'm gonna have to... Let me start this or... So I think I did like this, the first one. Maybe I can use stacked end gates and stuff. And scratch this. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it's not gonna change. Okay, so pass is the first two. So if there is a way to use the extra extra connection here to make it act like a R gate or a not gate on the in this two. I can use the knot here. I'm not really sure if I solved the previous challenge. It was something like this. Maybe it's the other way around. And the knot comes here. Activates this. Gets current from the output. Now it's failing because it needs to be turned on. Yeah, yeah but I think this one reverses the output of this one. So if I use another gate here, it might work. So it's failing on this one again. So here is off and it's on. Because it needs to pass current through here, so it turns this on this off. All the desired output is off. Okay. 
what if we connect? If I connect directly, it's not gonna work. It is very similar on the way I solved that the first one of the delayed buffer. But I just don't remember really well how I did it. Because it's similar, but it's a little bit more complex, I think. So this needs to be turned off now. So it starts off on. Because it's receiving input from both. So this one shuts off. Let me try to do it the other way. Connect like this instead. Or maybe it's here. So I need to make both of this active so it doesn't pass there. If I do it like this, can I do that? Okay. So I can only do this with the delay buffer. I'm not really sure that's the right connect way to connect. So maybe comes here, then here. Yeah, now it's the right way. Yeah, so this is alternating the inputs. I think that's what I need. So I use the not gate here, I guess. That's how I solved that one. Or uh, here. D 
this one comes here. The only issue is that it starts off on. That's the problem. So maybe I need to use a different way, different logic to connect there. If I change them on a face, I'm sure if it works. So now it needs to be off, but it's passing through here, so it turns it on. So I feel like I'm on the right direction, but this the way that I did this is not very clean because of the wires. So I'm going to change through here. Actually, start from the beginning. So I need the delay buffer, then end. And the gate. The not gate. And the XR. Don't you think if some of them other than XR might be better, but I think it was like this that I was doing. And then this connects through here. Or something like this. Yeah, so this makes it, makes output have a delay. Does that connect here, maybe? But it's not going to work on the first one. Maybe it does. Okay, that's the problem. The problem is that if I pass direct directly through here, it's gonna. Let me do this instead. Here, oh, I have to think about how to not pass this directly through here. Maybe I can create the same thing. I 
because I need the output to be off. So maybe if I do the not and the buffer here. This one I connected to the not gate. Then I connect the not gate to this one. Yeah, but this is not gonna work because it's still passing through here. And if I use the not gate here, it's not gonna work as well. Because then it fails on the first one. So instead of this, maybe this. Doesn't work because I still need to get the input from here. Or maybe if I simply do this. Yeah, but then it's not going to change the output. That's the problem. It changes right away. It only affects on the next stick. So I need you to think about one that one gate that has this logic but delayed. Yeah, let me erase all this stuff. Cause I think there might be a better easier solution. So I just need to delay the output. And it's gonna start it, the thing off, I guess. So I need either or, or to be off. Let's do this. Yeah, so this is going to do what I thought it would do. But then I need to... Delay only after the beginning.
So now it's the desire out of the zone, but it's off. Uh, for some reason, I think I'm gonna have to mimic the logic that I'm using to pass the first ones, to pass the other ones. But I'm not really sure if this intuition is correct or not. So I have to do the same thing I did here, but for the other side. Put it here. Maybe this is off. The intuition that I'm having. I think it doesn't hurt to try, so. So now it's confusing because I need to think uh, which way that was well, so here, then here, then here. Go well, like this and like this. So this fails on this one already. That should be on here. And only activates on both raw. And then both of these are our own. So what if I connect directly here? You may need to use another gate other than the norm, but because I need to, to think differently uh, than the logic that is on the truth table there because I can delay the logic so I can change the way that the gate works on each tick. With the exception of the first one. If I use the output to determine the input of the delayed buffer. So let me try to use the NAND gate here somewhere. So it already fails in the first one.
so if I use the knot here. And then it's gonna fail. So I can use the XR here to connect both. Okay, now it's passing more list. Yeah, the biggest problem I have with this game is that I have to redo everything once I when I want to change the way that I that I put them in the beginning. Because now I want to move everything to the left to make more stuff on the right. But then I have to remember all the arrows I did. Not the arrows, the wires. So the issue now is that not even sure if, sure if it's necessary all this stuff that I did here with the delay buffers because they both have some the same output so maybe I can just simplify so the challenge here is that in the first one they need when both are on they, it needs to be off but then when both are off it needs to be on Which I guess is what the NAND gate does, if I remember. No, it's the opposite. Yeah, it's the opposite of the NAND gate. No, it's it, not quite the opposite, it's just different. Because when both are on, when both are off, is the NAND gate is on, but it has to be off. So let me try to do it like this and see if it still passes. Also, it fails on the first one already because of this. So I guess. It's probably necessary to have this. And now it fails on this one. So let me see. No, it doesn't work. Oh, so it does work. Nice. Oops. Try to put them the same way, exactly. Let's throw here. Yes. 
over to here. Here. I know visually is much better to understand what's going on. So because they are they are out of sync, it's the problem. Oh, they're not out of sync here. Oh, actually they are because of these gates. They're different gates. Oh. Maybe that's the problem. Is the NAND gate here? Yeah, but then it doesn't pass. So it defeats the per the point. Uh, if I use an R gate, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. But... Yeah, and that's the problem with the R gate that is always gonna turn it on. Whenever th there is any input. But I don't think, maybe I should change the order of this stuff here. It's not exactly sure it's doing what I intended to do. Which is desynchronize the, the inputs. So now it should be on. Both of them are on. So if there's an end gate here, so it's the opposite. I shouldn't this be activating the here. I have input coming in from both. Oh no, it's the other way. It's just confusing. I'm getting tired already. Now, this is definitely not going to work. Yeah, but it's weird here that. Oh, it needs to be off. So this is probably not the correct way to think about it. Because whatever I put there, it's going to pass the first and not the second, or vice, vice versa. And why am I doing like this, when I can do like this? Oh, maybe there is a, there is a reason. So this can't be the correct way. Unless I have two different ones here. Which also might be. So maybe let's go back to that. Logic there and try to change this once. Just because it's easier to try. So. Yeah. 
This should be on now. I'm gonna make this on. One of these inputs needs to be off. If I use end gate, what the? It's not gonna pass. I think the issue here is that I'm using the delay buffer incorrectly. I think I'm gonna take a break now because I'm already tired and I'm gonna start this from, from scratch when I come back. Let's see how long. Yeah, three minutes, so right on time. So I'm gonna take a break and I'm probably gonna come back uh, in 30 minutes or maybe one hour, uh, something like that. I might eat something as well. So see you soon.